Hello friends. My name is Rajesh Nair. I am a primary teacher in Demonstration Multipurpose School Bhopal. Today in this session we are going to learn something about weights. So we are going to take a chapter from the NCERT textbook of mathematics. The name of the chapter is who is heavier and the topic we are going to concentrate on is heavier and lighter and the different types of weighing scales. So let us proceed. Today in this session to learn and conduct some activities we are having two friends. So let us have their introduction. My name is Sela Elvin. My name is Alex Elvin. Yes. Sela and Elvin. These are the two friends we are having for today's session. What is this weight? So to understand this term, let us do some small activity. So I'm having this marker. This is a red marker. I'm keeping it here. And this is a green marker. I'm keeping it keeping it here. Now, how can I find which marker is farther or which is nearer to me? A uh, distance. Yes, exactly. By finding the distance, I can find which marker is farther or which marker is nearer okay. to me. So, what can I use to find the distance? Scale. Scale. I can use scale. So, let us measure the distance from my side. So, this is one time of this scale, two times, three times, almost it is four times. And this is just more than one time. So which one is farther? Oh, which one is farther? Red. Yeah, the red one is farther and this is nearer to me. So by finding the distance, I can find which object is farther and nearer to me. Same way, in order to find which object is heavy or which object is lighter, I have to use weights. So weights tells me which of this object is heavy and which object is lighter. So pumpkin, the shape of the pumpkin and it is bigger in size compared to the shape of tomato. Tomato is very smaller in shape and the pumpkin is very bigger in shape. So their teacher told that pumpkin is heavier and the tomato is lighter. Pumpkin was larger in shape, bigger in shape and the tomato was smaller in shape. So now just tell me, Alex, I've kept these two things on the table. Now you, can you tell me which object is heavy and which object is lighter? This is heavier. This is heavier. Okay. Now you do one thing. You try to lift it. Yes, this is heavier. So just by looking at the size of the object, you cannot say the object is heavier or lighter. For that, you have to measure the weight. This is a bigger in shape. This is smaller in shape. So you cannot say which is heavier or lighter just by seeing the shape or size of the object. You have to measure it. So measuring the weights. So weights what do measure uh, weights do weights tells us which object object is heavier and which is lighter and for measuring weights we have different types of weighing scales okay now just like the distance tells me which object is farther or nearer the weights will tell me which object is heavy or which object is lighter so and the shape and size of the object will not tell me which object is heavy or lighter. So you have to wait. Now for weighing, we have different types of scales. So now we will look into the different types of scales that we use in our daily life. Okay? So you can see pumpkin and tomato, they are very good friends. Now what happened? One day, pumpkin asked tomatoes, I would like to play on the seesaw. So can we play? So the tomato said, yes, why not? So, so they ran towards the seesaw and the pumpkin went and sat on the lower end of the seesaw and asked his friend tomato to please lift him. Tomato tried, but he could not lift. Now 
the tomato called some more tomatoes for the help. Still, they could not move the pumpkin. Now, pumpkin got very upset. So, they went to their teacher for asking the reason. So, then their teacher told pumpkin, don't get upset, pumpkin. It is none of your fault. Your weight is more than the weight of the tomato. That is the reason why the tomatoes could not lift you. So, don't get upset. So, weight is the reason why you could not be lifted. Now, friends, what is this weight? Let us learn about this weight. Weight just like distance. Distance between us and objects tells us which object is farther or nearer. In the same way, weight is something which tells us which object is heavier or lighter. Just like distance, we measure distance in meter, centimeter, kilometer. Weights also can be measured using different units. Some of the units are kilograms, pounds, quintals, tons. Normally, we see kg, that is kilogram. Now, you can see some weights. Exact amount of weight is written on those particular weights. 10 kg, 2 kg, 500 grams. These are the weights we normally see in our daily life. 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams. If I am buying some apples and I want 1 kg apples, that means it is equal to 1 kg apples is equal to 1000 grams. Now for measuring, different types of scales are present. Some are mechanical and some are electronic. Mechanical means they don't use any sort of battery or electronic equipment. And electronic, it is only they depend on battery and electricity for use. Now, here you can see one girl. She is using a simple weighing balance. So, weighing balance, the two, there are two pans on which you can keep the object. On one pan, you keep the weights. On the other pan, you keep the objects. When the things are equal, it becomes equal, that thing gets weight. Now, this picture, see what the lady is doing. She is weighing something. What is that? She is weighing cauliflowers using simple weighing machine, simple balance she is using. So, on one pan, she has kept some weights and the other, she has kept some cauliflowers. So, see, both the pans are equal. So, that means she has weighed whatever amount of weights she want to measure on other parts 1 kg cauliflower it may it may be 500 gram cauliflower now see there is one more machine nobody is lifting anything it is kept on the platform this is also like a balance so on one part the man has kept some weights and the other part he is putting something to weigh so when both the things gets equal that means that particular things thing has been weighed now in this picture you can see one lady, she is using a different type of scale. She is not balancing anything, but she is hanging the cylinder from a spring scale. This is another way of weighing things. Now here, now you can see a scale which is very popular nowadays. So in the earlier scales, all the scales were mechanical. Now this one is electronic. Now you can see, you don't have any more headaches, you just put whatever is to be weighed and you will see the electronic symbol, electronic measurement coming on the scale. So, nowadays it is very popular and it is used in many shops. Now, there are some difference. There are different, the, the difference of using two types of weights, electronic and mechanical. Now, in electronic scale, there are many benefits. One is the measurements are very accurate. And the second thing is, it is very easy to use. You don't have to hang something, keep on adding weights. So here, the easy to use is very popular. So because of that, you can save your time. Less time consuming it is. Now, there are benefits of mechanical, mechanical scale also. The benefits, you don't need any battery. So in the previous one, in the previous one, electronic scale, you need some battery for it. So, in mechanical, you don't need any battery. And there is one more thing. In mechanical scale, you don't 
the scale is not influenced by any sort of climatic conditions so what is this weight with the help of an activity let us learn about it friends now we will try to make one simple weighing balance so what is this thing hanger this is a hanger so what we do with this we hang our clothes so hanging clothes at proper place is a good habit or a bad habit good it habit it is a good habit yes we will make a simple weighing machine with this hanger so this is a hanger and these are some threads which are having equal length so i will hang from one side one side of the hanger will be given to this part i use the other part for this thread so now having having two things this is what is this um, these are coconut, coconut shells shell. these are coconut shells so for this you have to adjust this coconut shell inside this particular threads so how can i adjust it so like this and the second shell goes into the other part now you can lift it and the our weighing balance is ready so in the in the villages where people don't have many things for doing experiments or making some toys so this is the best idea where children can play and learn so this is what is this this is a simple weighing balance okay so we are having two coconut shell on the both sides so if you want to weigh any object you can weigh it now one thing while weighing we should take into consideration both should be equal then only the things gets weighed so you are having two pans this is like two pans so you have to keep objects which you want to measure in one pan and the weight the weight which you would like to weigh if you want to weigh 50 grams you can weigh it keep the things or apples on one side and the weight on the other side if it tilts towards this side that means which part is heavier this part is heavier and this is lighter if it goes like this then which is heavier this part is heavier and this part is lighter so whatever weight you want to measure keep it in one part and the vegetables apples you can weigh you can put it in the other part when both the things gets equal or you get a horizontal line horizontal this part become horizontal or the two pans are are at same height then that means you have weighed the objects you want to measure okay now just like this this normally children do in villages now i have made one more thing with the help of plastic bowls these are two pans okay so one will be hanged from one side of the hanger and the other side be will be hanged from the other part of the hanger so these are the two pans okay so make this equal okay now i'm putting one this what is this this is an eraser eraser on one side and this particular charger this part on the other side now it is tilted towards which side which side is downward uh, this part charger. is downward and this part is upward. upward that means this part is heavier and this part is lighter, lighter. this is lighter because it is lifted upwards and this is downward, downward. so this way this part is heavier. heavier now if i exchange the two things i put all the things here the sharpener also goes here one more sharpener goes here okay this marker i am putting it here and on the other side i am keeping this sketch pen now it is tilted towards which side it is downwards on which side yeah this is downwards and this is upwards so weight of the things kept here is more than the weight of the thing kept there so this part is heavier and this is lighter yeah. heavier lighter yeah. weight of these things is more than the weight of the thing kept in this part understood yes yeah. now we will do one more interesting activity which we all like 
and that is to measure our weights. Let's go and measure our weights and find us. Find Shaila is heavier or Alex is heavier. Just we will go and find. Okay. Now friends, what is this? This is a weighing scale. You can see one needle here and there are some numbers written. So this is a weighing machine which is of analog type. And there is one more machine which comes where you can see the digits printed. So electronic, that is an electronic that we say that is a digital weighing machine. Now let us understand. So who is Alex is heavier or Sela is heavier? Just let's see. So by weighing you, we can understand who is heavier. More the weight, the heavier is the object. Light, the lesser the weight, the lighter is the object. Okay. So out of these two, let's see who is who will be heavier and who will be lighter. Okay. Now first, Sela, you step on this, and you just tell me what is your weight. Twenty two. Yes, twenty two kgs. So now come down. Now Alex, it's your turn. 20. What is the weight? 20 kg. And your weight is? 22 kg. 22 kg. That means who is heavier? Sela is heavier. And who is lighter? You are lighter. So there is a difference of 2 kgs. So you are heavier. Why you are heavier? Because your weight is more than Alex's weight. Huh? And you are lighter because your weight is lesser than Sela's weight. Okay? Now you understood? The difference between lighter and heavier and the weights we use to measure different types of scales we use to measure the weights so more the weight the heavier is the object lesser the weight the lighter is the object understood okay thank you friends today we learned about heavier and lighter and the different types of scales we can use to measure weights i think this must have enhanced your knowledge related to weights. So, till we meet again, goodbye.